this is the plate in question. All hand pounded. Beautiful design. Solid brass. One piece. We're going to find out what this is, how old it is, and hopefully how much it's worth. Hello everybody, this is going to be a bit of a different video. Um, I'm sure you've already seen the video that Randall and I went to an auction. We bought, I think we spent six bucks um, on a bunch of different stuff. And in one of the flats, we got this beautiful 12-inch brass plate. Let me show it to you. Look at that. Isn't that thing gorgeous? We got this in one of the flats that somebody gave us. And uh, this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's all hand hammered all from one piece of brass you can see this is all one piece of brass and it was all hand hammered into the shape all the pattern on the other side is through the back and it's just got this gorgeous gorgeous intricate detail on the front of it well the problem is you got the star of david eight times and uh we've been trying to figure out what kind of plate this is so of course i did the smart thing i followed uh the advice of Tracy Cakes and her flipping side and uh, I Google imaged it and uh, I came up with about 400 different results all leading in different directions so I've tried to narrow it down I went with the, uh, the Star of David aspect and thought about the Jewish church but I contacted the Jewish synagogue and guess what there's no Jewish writing on it therefore it's not anything that's Jewish that they know of but they want me to bring it in and they want to see it and get a better look at it. What they suggested is that I go to the Hindu temple. So I've got to go there as well. I'm going to go to the Hindu temple and I'm going to go to the Jewish synagogue at the, on the same day, hopefully soon. Um, I took it to an antique dealer and he is an expert and he said I am, he said that he's an expert in all things antique and he has never seen anything this magnificent. And he just was completely flabbergasted and in awe about how beautiful this brass plate is. It weighs like a little over a pound, like a pound five ounces or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but it's heavy. And uh, he dated it to early to mid 1800s. Um, he was thinking Moroccan. I have had that lead before as well. Um, he said, if not Moroccan, then maybe Jewish, Indian, could be Hindu. So... Once again, I'm being led in all these paths. There were quite a few other paths that were obviously dead ends that I uh, found. So, so far, I'm led towards Jewish, Moroccan, Hindu, and Indian. So hopefully one of these will pan out, but when I go to the synagogue, I'll definitely take you guys along with me and I'll see what you say. I was going to take you to the antique dealer, but he said he didn't want to be on film, so... Yeah, if any of you have an idea of what this is, if I don't find out what it is, let me know, because uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I cannot find anything close to it on eBay or WorthPoint or anywhere on the internet, because the ones that are kind of similar are nothing like it. And the ones that are similar, you know, there's other ones that just have one giant Star of David on the whole pattern, and then a bunch of other stuff on the inside, but those are... Um, have Jewish writing in them, which means they're definitely Jewish. So, yeah, I'm at a loss for words, but I am going to uh, definitely take you along with me on this journey. I've talked to my brother. My brother, uh, he's completely in awe, and one of my good friends, he's like, wow, that's a beautiful piece, but nobody can tell me what it is. <laughs> and usually I know what things are because, you know, I've been dabbling in this stuff for a long time, but... This is new to me, so I guess I'll see you in a few seconds. Uh, well, you'll see me in a few seconds. I don't know how long it'll be for me, but we'll see you on the next step of this journey. Told you guys it'd only be a second. It's only been a month for us. <laughs> but you guys will never know that unless I said something. So what are we doing today, Randolyn? We are going to 
find Crystal out. Crystal Lake. We're going to go to Crystal Lake and we're finding out about the brass plate. So, yeah, we got a surprise for you. And we're meeting up with somebody who is an antiques expert. And uh, hopefully he can tell us what's going on. So, uh, we'll see when we get there. We've made it to our destination. We are at the trading post. Um, I think it's a pawn shop, basically. And if you know the guy, he is Craigslist Hunter. And he is gracious enough to hopefully tell us what this brass plate is and also to do a video with us. So I don't know. We uh, talked to him the other day and he's expecting us. So we're going to go inside and see if he can help us. All right, everybody, we came inside and we're here with Peter. And uh, Peter's taking a look at my tray here. What do you think, Peter? What do I think? I don't know. I'm, I'm bozzled, my friend. <laughs> I'm bozzled. Definitely very unique piece. Uh, it's, it's old. There's no question about it. I mean, there's so much handwork that went to this. You know, this is all done by hand. This is probably late 1800s. I'm thinking maybe early 1900s. So it's a definitely older piece, but it could be even older. Um, what bug boggles me here a little bit that, you know, the, the little bit of research that I did on this, I see a Star of David here, right? Mm -hmm. In a few different spots on this tray. This is definitely a, like a tea serving tray, uh, somewhere from Middle East. Definitely kind of Persian, but it could be any of these regions. But the only thing that kind of boggles me why there is, you know, the Star, St of Star of David, but there's no religious writing or anything on it. Yeah. I mean, there's some, on these different stars here, there's some different uh, indication of some kind of, I don't even know what that is. I thought for a second some kind of animal right in the middle somewhere there, but I don't think it is when I looked at it with the loop. It boggles me. I mean, it's a beautiful piece. I mean, this this is not a 10-minute job. Yeah. Somebody sat for hours and hours and hours making this. This edge, when it's folded, like, it's not folded. I don't think it's folded. It's just looked to be folded, but it's actually not. There's a looks like it's a lip. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's so much work that went to this. It is Where'd a beautiful piece. I uh, actually got that at an auction. Um, young lady said, hey, I don't want any of this stuff. Have what you want. So I took, uh, I think, eight flats of free stuff, and that was in it. Huh. So, And I was going to scrap it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's brass, so it's worth a few dollars. That's what you know. This is definitely older piece. Now, I, I don't know enough about, I'm just being honest, I don't know enough stuff, you know, about stuff from, like, Middle East like this to, to pinpoint when it could possibly come from what country or i mean uh, it uh, by looking at some of the stuff that it's out there the little bit of research that i did here it's it's definitely old it's it's 100 year old plus for sure okay. but where it came from i'm boggled you know <clears throat> you got it probably the best idea would be on something like this find couple facebook groups like i mentioned to you earlier mm -hmm. that are into you know all this persian stuff from middle east throw a few pictures out there some close-ups and guess what somebody somewhere has got one very similar <laughs> sitting yeah. under under table they're gonna go yes i know exactly what that is you there know you it might take some time it, it won't happen overnight because it's 
<laughs> it's a very unique piece, but I think that's the way, the best way to search because I really don't know anybody who's into that stuff. I, I, I honestly don't. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll, it's a tough one, man. It's I'll, a great find, though. It is. A what else piece. came? What did you say? Um, there was um, bells of Sarna, okay. which are 1950s. Some guy named Sarna imported a bunch of them, so they put his name on them. Came with uh, a five candle brass candle holder mm -hmm. it came with um a, a bunch of brass a whole bunch of antique brass uh napkin holders all kinds of good stuff and everything was from india yeah so <laughs> although i you know i i don't think this is you know i don't think this is india or pakistan this is definitely uh middle east it could be like you mentioned maybe possibly it might be Mor moroccan <sighs> yeah <laughs> Seems to be this consensus. Nobody yeah. knows what it is. So, so now is it a hundred dollar piece or is it a five thousand dollar piece? That's a big spread, isn't That's it? That's a big I mean, spread, it, and it could be either or. So, um, you really got to find like an expert expert that can shed some light on this because I'm kind of buggled. Well, I appreciate you taking your time. Thank you so much for looking at it. You got it, man. Thank you. Well, that was a whole bunch of fun. Mm -hmm. Peter uh, had no clue. So we're right back where we started. But he led us in a diff few different directions. We're gonna go uh, probably head to the Jewish synagogue and then we're gonna see what happens from there. Maybe see if we can find some antique dealers or uh, possibly hit up Facebook. So we're gonna try. Did you have fun, Raylan? I did. You learned anything? Yeah. Yeah, learned a lot and Peter's such an awesome guy. So yeah, we're gonna get back on the road. So now I'm at the Jewish synagogue and I'm going to see if they might know what this tray is because, yeah, that's where uh, my next lead is taking me. So we'll see what they say. So I went to the synagogue and they're clueless as well. And of course I couldn't film because out of respect to them, I'm not going to. But yeah, so I don't know where to go next. <laughs> I'm probably just going to head home for the day and pick this up on another day. I don't know. Might find an antique dealer because I know there's a couple of antique dealers here in the area where we are right now and uh yeah I might have to go see them but you'll find out when I find out so I went to the synagogue and uh showed them the plate they took a picture of it because nobody was in to be able to take a look at it and they took a picture took my number and I just got a phone call they say it's Middle Eastern but it is definitely not a Jewish plate other than the Star of David on it and um, it's definitely uh, Middle Eastern, but they're not exactly sure where from, and they're not exactly sure how old it is. So, <clears throat> we're definitely leading down the Middle Eastern path, but other than that, I still don't have a clue. So, the journey continues. Okay, so, I've come to the consensus after going to about, I think it was, uh, nine different antique dealers. Um, two of which were experts in all things antique um, uh, going to see Peter at Craigslist Hunter um, talking to several different Facebook chats uh, different groups uh, and also um, Helen one of my YouTube contacts uh, Tracy Cakes and her flip inside my brother a few of my friends who uh, dabble in a lot of antiques and quite a few people from the region we have come to the conclusion that this beautiful brass tray is a Middle Eastern, um, late 18 to early 1900s um, tea serving tray. And that seems to be the consensus. We cannot pinpoint to a country because a lot of the countries do the exact same style of work. 
But let me show you this thing. <clears throat> I haven't really done a really good close-up, I guess. I don't know. But you can see it's got the Star of David. Oh, and I forgot to say that uh, we also talked to two different synagogues. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> but anyway, this thing has been all over the place. Just trying to find out what it is. Um, yeah, you got four stars of David and then four hexagrams. You got the little symbols. We can't figure out what those are. But the entire plate or tray... It's uh, 12 inches. It weighs like a pound and five ounces. It's really heavy. It is a solid piece of brass. One piece, mind you. Yes, my thumbs up are over there. So make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, it is a solid piece of brass. It is all hand hammered, as you can see. It's all the way through. The pattern goes through the back of it. And the style that it's done in is what leads us to believe that it's... Uh, late 18s to early 1900s but it could even be older than that we are not 100 percent sure on the age we're also not sure on the value so um if you're seeing this video you can check out on my ebay i'm thinking about just listing it uh starting at like 39.99 and or buy it now for 3500 dollars because um similar trays to this nothing exactly like this and most of them were newer um have sold from anywhere between thirty dollars and five thousand dollars so yeah we did rule out a lot of different leads it's not moroccan it's not indian it's not um pakistani um it's definitely not jewish but it is middle eastern which well obviously israel is in the middle east but it could be a number of countries. It could be Persian. It could be um, <clears throat> from Afghanistan. It could be Saudi Arabia. We're not exactly sure. So I appreciate you going on this journey with me. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that notification bell. And um, yeah, and if you uh, check out my eBay, it might be up on sale if, if I decide to list it. I haven't decided yet. So just check it out. Um, I might sell it at a live auction on YouTube. I don't know what's going to go on. So if you're seeing this video, it's probably early January because it's like the end of December now. So, well, mid-December. It's not even Christmas yet for me. But I have a lot of videos already scheduled to come out on YouTube. So if you're seeing this, it's probably January like 3rd. I'm not even sure. So that's... I think that's when I'm going to have this come out. So anyways, um, it might be up on my eBay. I don't know yet. But if, you want, if you're interested in it, definitely contact me. All of my contact information is in my description or my about page anyway. And I'll put it in the description as well just to make it easy on you. So you don't have to go to my about page because who wants to read about me? I mean, really? So anyway, thank, uh, make sure you... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't breathe. Make sure you uh, check out Craigslist Hunter. I'll leave his... Uh, Link in the description to go check out his channel. He's an amazing man, very knowledgeable, um, just great, great man in general. Uh, make sure you check out Tracy Cakes and her flipping side because she's the one who started this journey. It's all your fault, Tracy. <laughs> so check out Tracy Cakes and her flipping side. Helen, I want to thank you as well for everything you've done and all of the people that have helped me along this journey, including Randolyn because she put up with me getting frustrated because I was getting nowhere. She gave me some Jersey mics and, you know, and some coffee. So I was happy. So, <laughs> And she gave me all of her love and affection as well. So I just want to thank everybody for going on the journey with me. And uh, hope you appreciate it. See you next time. <laughs> Can't even talk. See you next time. Thanks for watching.